Hey, this is James. I'm going to show you how to open and save a transaction. Some folks use this for work orders. Um, you can use it as a workaround for restaurants for signing tables or bar, or signing seats at a bar, that type of thing. Uh, go to the tools menu and then options. First thing we're going to do is make sure that the enable open save of transactions is enabled. So check that option. Then for the status, you can use this for complete, um, you know, ready for packing, whatever um, you want to do for an interim status. Um, you can also set the default. So when you ring up a transaction, the default can be open. That way, if everything you do is typically open until you ship uh, items, then you would leave it open. And I'll show you how to do that later. For now, I'm just going to do complete. Um, the source, that can be walk-in, phone order, online. This is where you can also use um, or add in uh, different descriptions for restaurants. So you could do table um, one. Uh, you could do different areas in the restaurant. So if you want to do patio dash table one, uh, you could do that. Uh, if you want to do bar seat one, that type of thing, uh, and then just keep going, you know, bar, seat two, let's see, patio, you get the idea, um, table two, uh, and then if you wanted to do just restaurants uh, or dine-in or something like that, I mean, sky's the limit here on these. Um, uh, go ahead and do that and save. So now in a transaction, we'll click OK here. If you just start a transaction, I'll ring up an item here. My default is walk-in and it's complete. So if you want to change this, say it's a bar setting and you want they're sitting at um, seat one at the bar, you click tracking, change it to, where is it, bar seat one, hit OK. And then what you'll do is you'll save this. So after they add their drink, You'll hit save. You can print a receipt at that time, or you can just hit enter or OK. Now, if they want to order another drink, hit <clears throat> open. Look for your source. Bar seat one, double click. Say they just got another drink. Change the quantity to two. Now you have two. And save again. And you keep doing that for as many times as they want. So say they wanted, this was a, a table in a restaurant. Say they wanted to add a dessert. Go ahead and do that, hit save. And when they're finally ready to pay their tab, you select that particular seat and then cash out. Just do 50, done. So that's that's how you would go ahead and do that for restaurant or any other um, scenario where maybe a work order, if you're opening and adding more items to a work order, if you're updating service that's been um, utilized, uh, like adding hours, to um, a given ticket, that type of thing, um, or you know, cell phone repair. If you're adding more parts, uh, keep opening and saving. You know, when you're done, then you you'll cash out. So, if you have any questions uh, as far as how that all works, feel free to give us a call eight five five Lot Hill or shoot us an email at product dot support at lothill com.